Hi there, I'm Devin with Freckled Mom. It's Friday and that time again, flipping Friday. I have three projects. Let's get started. Don't know what I should do and I wish you would be right here with me. For my first project, I have a sign I had made for Valentine's Day. Obviously, it's not Valentine's Day, so I'm just going to redo this. This was actually a wooden sign I had gotten at the Target dollar spot for $3. So a little bit more than my Dollar Tree find. So I definitely want to reuse this again. And I'm just using uh, Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And please consider subscribing so you can see when I post new videos. If you're returning, hey! When I first thought of this project, I had something different in mind. I was thinking of painting the whole thing white and then putting rope in that inside part. And then I saw some burlap in my craft room and I decided burlap was the way. So right here I am just measuring up some burlap and I wanted it to um, be kind of like whimsical but still be even, if that makes sense. I have a lot of browns in my house and this decor is going in my dining room. So I really like the burlap, how it brought the brown in and I love the white and I love the burlap and the wood so far. And you'll see as we go, but this project came out so cute. Oh my goodness. So here I'm just kind of cleaning it up a little bit, making it a little bit smaller and just pulling out a couple pieces to make it look frayed. Now I'm going through with my glue gun and adhering the burlap and I suggest to put on some gloves or those little heat fingers. I have neuropathy so I can barely feel it but the glue does come up through the little holes in the burlap so you definitely want to play it safe here. And this project came out so cute because of this flower. So this is a metal flower I just got at the dollar store. It has a lot of nooks and crannies in it. So I went out to my garage, did a quick spray paint just to make sure I could get underneath where the brush really wouldn't go. And then I just covered it all up with the chalk paint. I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you. I have fallen in love with this color. This is Fire Coral from Folk Art. It is such a pretty color, not something I use very often. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It helps out my channel, but it also lets me know that you like this kind of content. This color is not one I use normally, but it is so pretty. I had made a planter last week and I used a lot of peaches and pinks and whites and this color kept standing out at me. It was just so pretty. So when I had the idea for this project, I knew I had to incorporate that color into it. And I got this color just at Michael's, but I'm sure you could get it anywhere. Um, it is just so pretty. I love it so much. I 
was just distressing and adding a little bit of color because I didn't want too much because here is the showstopper. These little flowers are so adorable. I think they're so cute and I think it all goes together so well with the metal and the wood and the burlap. So I'm just hot gluing the flower down. Now at one point I did go in and hot glue underneath that burlap because with the weight of that flower it was definitely moving and here I'm just going along and I'm hot gluing these little flowers I decided to take the leaves off I thought it would be a little cuter without the leaves and you will see how cute this is and I literally want to make this for every person I know because it is so cute I just love it so much How cute is that? Oh my goodness. You wouldn't even believe this was a red Valentine's Day sign. I love that you can remake stuff like this. This is just so cute and so springy, which is perfect because it's another snowstorm. I'm done with snowstorms. I want the spring. And I really love this piece. I think it just came out so pretty and so dainty and delicate. I love it. Project number two now. So this was a little planter or some kind of little vase that I had gotten from one of my thrift hauls. Actually, from my big clean out that I did with my husband. I'll put that in the description if you guys haven't seen that because that was such a fun day. I could have sanded this down because some of the flowers were raised up but I didn't because I had plants and I didn't want to waste my time because you'll see but I'm just putting on some acrylic paint first and then I went through with my chalk paint and I love the finish that it gave this project it made it almost like a clay vase and I really love that it's so pristine you know it's just like a very nice white and it's just so cute again those flowers are going to make a debut so here I decided to add some twine I was gonna add rope and then I decided the rope would be too big and so I went with this little twine and I am so happy I did this because it's just perfect it's not too much it's not too little and I just love it I love how it came out and the simplicity of it but you could do whatever you wanted you could do a little ribbon you could do you know a thicker rope it's really whatever you want if it's going in your house put it to match your decor we have a lot of rope and a lot of twine in our house so it doesn't really matter what kind we use it all matches together I love flipping unloved pieces. I also love working from scratch. Creativity takes courage. What are you working on right now? Please put it in the comments. I have some exciting things coming up. I have the final reveal to my craft room, a Pokemon themed decor, woodworking, and I actually used power tools and built it before I designed and painted it, and so much more. I wish you would be right here with me. My mind is filled with pictures of when we used to dance, but now I don't know where you are. I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you. Now this is a little vase, so you're gonna have to cut the flowers down, and I used just some wire cutters, and I cut them down to the length that would fit in the vase, and I wanted it to look full. Um, but I ended up, you'll see, I ended up taking off some of the leaves because it kind of looked too full, if that makes any sense. But I love how this came out, it is so cute. 
and there are you know you could put it anywhere really you could put it in a bathroom you could put it in your kitchen in your bedroom I'm doing all of these for my dining room I had swapped my craft room from my dining room to a different room so I now have to decorate my dining room back to a dining room and I am so excited if you haven't seen my craft reveal yet go through my videos and check it out I'm gonna put it in the description but you still want to go through my videos because I have so many cute things that I have been doing for the dining room and for the craft room so it all goes together I forgot to tell you that these flowers were half off at Michael's so this project really was like a dollar fifty to make it was so cheap and look how cute it is somebody would pay money for this this is crazy you can make this stuff at home my goodness it is so pretty I love it so much it is just so darling and the rope just adds that little flair to it it is so cute my goodness I love it now it's time for project number three this is it guys so this is a sugar dish and I hope my ex-mother-in-law doesn't see it because it was hers and now it was mine and I have not used it for a while so it is time to redo it my basement is filled with stuff like this because I'm a hoarder I keep everything so anyways, I'm just going through with my Apple Barrel Matte White and I'm just covering it up. I didn't sand it, I just cleaned it and I've never done this kind of project before so I had really no expectations. I thought of the outcome of how I wanted to look. I just wasn't sure how to get there. So now I'm painting over with the chalk paint and it kind of gave it like a clay feeling um, and I love it and so I didn't expect that though and I don't know why um, so if you know let me know in the comments but I'm sure it has something to do with the material and using the acrylic paint first but it kind of got like lumpy and again I love the way it came out so I am not complaining and I ended up doing um, two coats of the acrylic and one coat of no two coats of the chalk paint and I am cleaning this all up because I am going to do my first IOD stamp I am so excited I got these from jamierayvintage.com she has a YouTube channel I'm sure you already know that but I've never done croc stamps before so I am so excited but I was a little nervous because like I said this is like almost like a clay kind of feeling now so I am just taking a stamp pad and I am putting it on the top so that way there's not too much. I actually put the stamp on the back of a card so I could have an, like almost like a handle when rolling it, if that makes sense, but you'll see. So I put it on and I pushed it down in the middle and then I went out to the sides and then I just peeled it up. Again, my first time guys, get ready for it. So exciting. Look at it my first time look at that I am so impressed I really am I'm so happy so I do it again on the back um, it didn't come out as great <laughs> so I guess I had beginners luck but I am so excited how it came out and I did exactly what you're supposed to do you're supposed to sand it down lightly and and then add whatever medium you wanted and again I just use a regular black stamp pad and I am so happy and I can't wait to do more Crocs now. I am so excited. I have so many in my garage because like I said, I'm a hoarder. So I'm just pe peeling off the tape now and my hands look really big compared to this, but this is a big container. So I wanted to make sure if I ever wanted to put food in it again, I still would be able to do that. So I didn't want any paint on the inside because it is a really nice container. You could put cookies in it. Um, previously I had used it for sugar or maybe flour I think it was flour but it's actually a pretty large dish which you'll see it's just a funny camera angle look how cute it is oh my goodness I love it I love it so much 
And that's it, guys. Look at it. Oh, it's like a little clay pot. And it looks old, obviously. And I am just so impressed with my first time stamping. I am just so happy. I love it. I love everything about it. Don't know where you are. I miss you so bad, won't you? And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I loved all these transformations and I have more coming up. So make sure you hit that bell and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for watching and I hope you're inspired to take an unwanted, unloved piece and bring new life to it. I'm on Instagram and Facebook as Freckled Mom. Also, you can read my blog about motherhood, sobriety, fun projects, and delicious recipes at freckledmom.com. See you soon. I'm out of time.